Alrighty, here we are with another video with the stamp acquisitions for the day of um, let's see here, the date of May fifteenth, two thousand twenty-three. Let's get right into it. This one is uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? Let's mention this real quick. This is a actually a weighing scale. It's pretty old. It's from nineteen ninety-one, I believe it is. The other thing it's really useful for, and it's not for the prices so much, but it's more for the, uh, just the ounces to pounds that they can tell you. So you can just base that off accordingly, since, uh, you know, one, one ounce is like, what, 63 cents that you'll have to pay in postage, which is usually covered by the first class forever stamps and all that. So, we get back over here. Of course, you just adjust everything accordingly with additional postage or whatever you need. This is the Historic Railroad Stations of the United States. And of course these are first class forever. Let's try that real quick. And due to the nature of the way that they print these, I'll just try to focus it. You can see we have uh, all these are the stamps right there. It's a sheet of 20. Let's see if I can't cancel that out. There we are. Let's see one of this one is uh, Point of Rocks, Maryland, Richmond, Virginia. San Bernardino, California, Tamaqua, Pennsylvania, and the Cincinnati, Ohio one. I like that one the most, aside from San Bernardino. It's quite nice. Very nice Art Deco style. And then over here we have our additional ounce. Very nice. I use these uh, sometimes as like sending stamps back or sending coins back or anything like that through the mail. That way it doesn't get bounced back to me. It's very helpful. We also have some other sheets like additional postage, 10 cents. Again, all sheets of 20. 5 cents. Try to adjust the focus. There it is. 3 cents. 2 cents. 1 cent. Postcard, which is current rate is 48 cents. Soon to be 51 cents, July 9th. And of course, our first class forever, Purple Heart, 63 cents, soon to be 66 cents, as per July the uh, 9th. So these are all I've gotten through. Uh, I actually got this at the post office, this one, the railroad stations, but the rest of them I got on USPS.com. So very helpful, very neat. In fact, I actually sent a letter off about a few days ago using a postcard stamp. And I just added about, you know, 15 cents just to make up for the 63. And they had no problem with that, which was real nice. So, those are our acquisitions for the day of May the 15th, 2023. There will be another video probably maybe this month because I have more stamps that I've uh, acquired. But I haven't talked about these and I've had these for a while. So, until then, see you in the next one.